What's going on guys? Back with another featured profile picture for my Facebook page and this one is submitted by Kara Boyd. Um, it's going to be super easy edit. Um, just stick around. I'm going to teach you guys a couple of tricks in this. Um, first, let me go over the image. I love the lighting in this. Um, let me go over the setting as well. You have ISO 100 shot with a nifty 50, 50 millimeter lens um, at 5.6 shutter speed 1.0. Thirteenth of a second. So, if it's one thirteenth of a second and the image looks this sharp, that means that this was shot on a tripod. This was not handheld. There's no way you can pull this off um, handheld at one thirteenth. So just remember, whenever you look at your settings, um, if it's too low and the picture is sharp, the shutter speed is too slow and the picture is sharp, that means um, tripod was used. Anyway, um, love the whole feel of this image. I love the lighting that's coming from your left side here. Um, like this dark area here as well. Uh, it's super sharp. It's super sharp because it was shot at 5.6 and it was um, uh, taken with a prime lens. All right, let's start the editing process. First thing I want to look at, I'm looking at this area here and I see like burnt out information here. Okay, so how do I know this? Like, if you want to confirm it, right side here, just click on this thing right here, and it will tell you, like, the red area is where you've lost information, and you can easily recover this. Right here, it says recovery. You could do the recovery here as well. I, I don't know. For some reason, I just feel more comfortable um, doing it here. Okay, so just start moving this forward on the positive side I mean all you all already it's like it's gone but I'm still gonna go further and get some you know more detail in this area here so I'll push it somewhere around 80 and right away this looks better okay so that's the first thing let's start messing up with your temperature now first thing you want to do is you want to decide what kind of tone you're looking for uh, I would like, I'm feeling a little bit bluish tone here, so I'm going to push the bluish tone further, okay? So I'm going to drop my temperature here. It's at 5,500 right now, so I'm going to drop it. Don't want to do it too much. I think something like this is, this is good, I think. It's like 4,800, all right? I'm going to drop my tint a little just a little All right, thing. I think this looks good I already see a bluish tone in there if you want to compare before and after you could see it right away alright let me get rid of this this is your raw image and this here is your what I just did okay alright let me get rid of this All right, exposure. Slightly underexposed, maybe. I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, I think I li I like this better. And another reason why I want to do I want to increase the exposure is because when I increase like the um, I don't know the blacks and clarity. I just want to make sure that I if there's there's enough light there hate this software alright so this looks good I'm gonna increase my blacks and I'll tell you why I want to increase my blacks I don't know if you guys can see the spot here if I in reduce my blacks you'll see the spots see this spot right here see the spot right here so if I increase my blacks all that thing all that stuff is gonna go away alright I think yeah, I don't see that anymore. So that's that's gone. I want to increase my clarity. Now, as you're doing it, make sure you're looking at the image as well. You know, because you don't want to go you don't want to go overboard. Okay. Reduce the vibrance just a little bit. Because I know I'm gonna touch these colors in uh, in my color tones, like the orange and yellow um, shades. All right, that looks good. I'm not gonna mess with my saturation. 
okay because I'm gonna target individual colors instead alright so if I am looking at my colors right here the easiest way to find out if this will have any impact on it just do your extreme okay so if I have my orange let's say saturation here and you could see you can look at the image that it is making a difference in that area okay so what I want to do is I want to increase my orange color saturation to make that darker and like pop more okay I think I think this looks this looks good okay now if I'm going to mess with the orange saturation I want to mess with the luminous as well again if you want to see what kind of effect it's gonna make just do this okay I don't want to make it too dark so I'm not gonna go on my negative side so if this was on zero before and I don't want to make it too dark I'm gonna go on a positive side okay so positive 18 I think it looks looks good scroll down and you know just identify all the other colors you've seen this obviously there's no green in there there is blue but I've already messed with my temperature so I'm not gonna to touch blue aqua all that stuff so the only color left here is my yellow okay so let's mess with yellow and see what we get all right so if you go on positive you see there's it's all it's get it's getting all greenish so I'm not gonna go on my positive side if I go on the left side it's making it darker but that's this is obviously extreme so from zero to maybe we could drop this down to up to 36 maybe I think that looks alright and check with your luminance as well alright I think I like the darker in this better so I'm drop the luminance a little bit I'm gonna leave it at 32. I think it looks good. All right. So that's pretty much it. This image may be slightly crooked. I'm not sure. Let me see. The thing is, I don't have a lot of room to work with. Because then it's gonna get cropped on the top area here. I think it looks all right here. All right, so this is it. Let's do your before and after. What am I doing? All right, before, after. A couple of things you could do here. You could remove uh, the scratches here. If you want to use spot removal, you could do this. If you want to remove a spot here, you can do that as well. I'm not going to bother with this. I, I love this image as is. So awesome job, Kara and I'll upload this on my pro profile page and guys submit submit all your good pictures man uh, every week I mean this took me I don't know a couple weeks because I was kinda busy but every week I basically pick a picture and use it as my profile picture so sort of like an incentive um, to make you guys take better pictures alright hope all is well and I'll see you guys next week